Hi, I'm Hazel Holman, and um, I have property in Lanesboro, Massachusetts, 464 acres that borders up onto the Mount Greylock Reservation, the state land. And we've been doing forestry um, since we acquired the property in the early 1950s. And then I heard about the federal programs. I tried one of those in 2006. Before that, I was intimidated by the um, application process for the WIP program uh, because of the paperwork, and I didn't understand it. Uh, the, the office in Pittsfield has been very helpful with me to help me to fill out that paperwork. I'm Kate Parsons. I'm the district conservationist here in Berkshire County, and I've uh, been working with Hazel Holman since 2006. Hazel contacted me, um, she and her forester, Tom Brule, who had done the forest management plan for her, and said they had some wildlife projects they were interested in doing to benefit grouse, woodcock, uh, early successional species. So we did a whip project um, where we clear cut 11 acres and we made it for um, wildlife and for birds, early successional forest. We left piles of uh, brush and we cut the big trees out and um, it's growing up very nicely. Then I did an equip program which was for invasive species. This property had been kind of a, a mansion back in the 1890s and they planted invasive plants like the uh, Euronymus, the burning bush, and um, Japanese lilac, which isn't an invasive, but it was very prevalent, taken over here. So the area where I'm standing is where we did the invasive um, species kill, but as you can see, most of the bushes are dead. They're pretty small, thin bushes. The bigger ones were actually cut down with a chainsaw, and then the smaller bushes were treated. But um, there's a, a good kill here. The native species seem to still be here. Um, the hardwood trees are, are um, still growing and keeping a canopy here. And we expect they'll seed the area and um, we'll get rid of the Euronymus. It was a huge area, it was really thick and I'm very happy with the results. We had the New York New England Forestry Initiative um, that put a priority on managing forest land and healthy forests and invasive species control. So, and as you see, we've uh, done a pretty good job uh, controlling the burning bush and the Japanese lilac that is, is a watch list uh, invasive species. Um, there's lots of wildlife, you know, there are bobcats, there are bears, um, moose and deer, lots of deer. Um, and we have birds, uh, you can hear birds. Uh, the wildlife cut, um, the clear cut was for a lot of species of warblers and, that are in the deep woods. And um, we have, of course, partridge and, and grouse, um, a few quail. We're standing here in the, the 11 acre clear cut that Hazel did. And you can see this is six year growth, which actually is a little lower than um, sometimes, but you can see we've got some aspen and birch and cherry coming up. Um, I can hear an Acadian flycatcher in the background, common yellowthroat, catbird, there's a Baltimore Oriole that's been singing. We're kind of mid-morning here, so I think it's a little late for some of the other species that we would likely hear, like chestnut-sided warbler. Um, I know last year we heard a, a towhee here. These are all species that are in decline in Massachusetts. So that was one reason we did this project through the wild, through WIP, um, to try to keep this, this type of habitat on the landscape so we can promote those species that are in decline. You know, the Berkshires are just uh, a wonderful place, but um, you know, it's a place that we just thoroughly enjoy. It used to be the main road that went up to Vermont before Route 7 was there. And um, of course they thought General Washington stayed in one of the cellar holes up the road. It was originally the lots that King George um, gave to the colonists when they came here. A lot of the land here had been cleared, it was all cleared back um, in the days, the colonial days in the 18, early 1800s. It was all sheep farms and stone walls as most of Massachusetts was. And um, now it's grown up into the hardwood forests. So it's been, been fun working with Hazel. It's nice to work with people who care about their property and improving it. You know, now we're trying these things for the wildlife. So we're always up for new ideas to help um, the conservation of the land.